I never thought that I would make this video and it's interesting that I'm sitting here telling you that I might not make this video and I'm making it which is great we got a new album come out it's called uh, past present future and the gravity between them if you haven't check it out it's out on all of the streaming platform um, the video single Weightless featuring Moons is also out now on our channel as well. If you haven't listened to it yet, go listen. It's a great song. I mean, I have wrote it, so it, it's a great song. Dylan's not here with me today, unfortunately. Um, it's just me today, but he did just move into my apartment complex back in LA. And um, we, don't, we don't live together. He lives with his girlfriend. I live with my wife. And... At some point, he's gonna be in one of these videos. Okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay. Probably what you have, the main question here is, are we back? Are we gone again after this is done? Are we gonna stick around? What, what is, what is the deal here? Um, yeah, I think we properly are in a sense. Like, it's, it's kind of an unfortunate circumstance that every time we release something new. It is always after like so many years and, you know, after announcing last time around that we might be gone for a while or for good, then we're back again. It, it was never our intention to do that, by the way. It was kind of just something that happened. We thought we'd move on and we have new ideas, like what's going to stop us from doing that. I think the difficulty of it has always been that it's quite unclear what we were. Like, were we trying to be like a book manufacturer? Were we trying to be um, like a soundtrack composer? Or were we trying to be some sort of some platform or something? It was quite hard to market and, and sustain. So with this new direction, I guess, I would like to officially call us a band, actually. We're just a band now. It's just me and Dylan. We're a band and we have collaborators that we collaborate with to do things beyond just releasing music. I think that's a lot easier to understand. Bands go through stretches of finding inspirations and before releasing new albums or new work, you know, and they make content sometimes, sometimes they don't. This project is here to stay. It's just a matter of us finding inspirations to do it. So we are back but we don't know when the next release is and what it's about. So for now, enjoy the current album. It's got 10 songs in there. We've never done this much music for one album before at one time. And there's a lot more that we would like to do in the future. So yeah, we are back. With this new album, we are really trying something new um, and that is not gonna be everyone's favorite. It's gonna be a little bit different from what we've done in the past. Um, and we're not just talking about the style of music, but we wanna talk about the main focus of the album, which was the collaboration. And this came from the realization that we had was that like one of our favorite releases, and it seems to be some of you guys' favorite releases too, was, you know, we had Jane Decker on Believe. We had um, our roommate friend, Matt Beerwagon, who was a songwriter to help us on that too. We had a collaboration with Kiz now um, on Devolution um, and a collaboration with my then friend that turned into a girlfriend that is now my wife, Steph Cole, um, on Haunted. It's crazy to think that that was kind of how that began. And, you know, now we are like living our life together now. How great is that? Crazy. But with those three songs, what I realized was that there was something there that we couldn't achieve with just the two of us. So what if we do an album that goes deeper into having other people's interpretation of our world, right? So it's not just our interpretation of, of what the rules of our worlds are, what do people would feel in, in our, our little science fiction world. A lot of collaboration, a lot of collaboration focus. I'd love to hear from y'all, who should we work with next? 
because you're the listeners, you're the community. And if there's someone that you think that we should collaborate with, bring it on. We'd love to work with them. We'd love to reach out and see what happens. Or if you have to connect, then email us. We have the email below that you could email us. Or if you yourself want to collaborate with us, then also email us. The email is below. Do 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 that. It's great. Art has always been kind of a big thing in our projects. It's it's like it's actually not just a big thing in terms of how important it is, but it takes so much time to do because we don't do them ourselves. But like reaching out to artists that would be interested in working with us is a whole thing because. Everyone's busy, and actually, even us doing the research of who we think would be great. We don't have just like one usual person. We want to diversify the style of art that we commission. It takes time, and and it takes a lot of coordination between us and um, the artists or multiple artists. In in the case of this album, haha. <laughs> yes, there will be more art, more videos, but that's that's a, we'll tell you that later. It's not now. If one of you, or if some of you, um, know an artist that we should work with, or if you yourself are an artist that you want to work with us, please send send us your your portfolio. Love to see it. Uh, would love to collaborate with more people to build out this world to go a little further than what we could do ourselves. So yeah. All right, so here are some new things that are also coming with this release. The first thing is we have an Instagram now. That account is run by us, us just run by me, Dylan. The reason why we started Instagram was because, well, one, it's a platform I spent so much time on anyway, so I'd love to interact more with our fans that are on Instagram. The second thing is I think it's actually a good place to showcase a lot of this art and. I feel like YouTube just isn't quite the place to like look at art. You know what I mean? Like, if you want to look at a collection of art somewhere that's not Pinterest or not our website, I feel like Instagram is kind of the next best thing, and and you could put audio in it. It look pretty good. I mean, is is any of you here actually on Instagram? I don't know. I I mean, let me know. I guess because. I would love to know what platform are you on. Are you just on YouTube all the time, and that's the only thing that you're on? Maybe. I. I please let me know. I want to know. <laughs> Each time we want to communicate out to our community, there's always this kind of like, oh, we have to put a video out, and that's a lot of work. You know, like I mean, me sitting here filming this video is also a lot of work. But I'm doing this so that I could kind of eventually. Move to talk to you guys more regularly on Instagram or somewhere else. The second thing that is new is our Discord channel. Same purpose here. We want to talk to you guys. We want to be able to have regular conversations with you know the kind of things that you want to see more from us, um, or if you have questions about our music, how to make them, or you want to work with us. We want to kind of establish this. More casual way of communicating, where it's just not through, you know, YouTube comments, right? And the cool thing about this Discord channel, which I think is really cool, is that like th this could be the place for you guys to talk amongst one another, not in the YouTube comment section, but just in an actual platform we created for you. You want to, you know, nerd out about world building. In in the tales of the forgotten style, or you want to draw some fan fiction art. Remember tale your tales, by the way. Like I feel like that was so fun when we get to see submissions from you guys like that. And I wonder if that could also work in this way, where like Discord channel can become a place for you guys to come up with all these wild ideas and work with one another to build out fun. World, fun world building activities. I guess、uh, I I would love to be there too. And if you have ideas for like, oh, would would love to hear music that describes this terrain in this country that has now turned into this machine barricade thing. I don't know. I'm just making things up. Uh, Dylan's gonna kill me probably, but yeah, if you have those kind of ideas, like share them on Discord in in a casual way. I think that would be really fun to start a much more regular. 
communication between everyone. And it also gives us a platform for us to announce news to you guys and you would be the first people to hear about it because you're on the platform. But hey, you tell me if this works for you and if it doesn't, I want to know more about what will work. We have some new items in the store. We have some new stuff in the store and it's great. It's not new, but it's now made available on the store again, which is good. Um, we have the physical CD that if you didn't get it during the Kickstarter campaign, there's only nine of them left. You better go get it now if you haven't gotten that and you want it, that is. It's the CD for the beginning um, deluxe edition, which has all of our previous tracks, not the one from this album, but all the previous ones. It's all there. And it's got a really unique, interesting artwork, interesting to me anyway, um, that is worth checking out. The second thing that's now on the store again is the book, the hardcover book, which has the um, um, art insert in the middle and the sheet music at the back. That is like one of my favorite thing ever. I don't have it with me here, but see this picture. Um, there's 20, th there are a total of 27 books left. Again, grab them before they're gone. There's just not many of them left and there's no chance that that's being made again, unless it's in high demand of some sort again. But for now, there are only 27 of them left. Go grab it. The last new thing in the store, which I thought was cool, and I don't know why we didn't think about this sooner, but the sheet music that we made for the book is also available on the store. And for now, um, we're making it free. Because, you know, if you want to play your own version of Ground Zero or some of your favorite tracks like Believe, we would love to see that. And, and what a better way to do that than making the sheet music of like, you know, the reduction of the piece available for free. So go grab that while it's still free before we change our minds or before Dylan thinks that I'm crazy. We'd love to see you play our music. Or even if you just think that it's a cool thing to like print and frame it for your wall. To recap, nine CDs, 27 books, and free sheet music available on our store at talesofthegotten.net. Go there. Go there. Because it's, it's a good website now. We just redid it. Dylan mostly redid the website. Thank God. And he is so great at doing that. It's amazing. Check out the website and check out the store. It'll be great. Before we leave today, I just want to let you know how much I've missed making music for you guys. I think this is some of the most meaningful music that, to me anyway, that I've put out in the world. It felt more personal. It, it feels like it's more purposeful and, and it has kind of um, a life of its own. And I'd love to find a way to do more unique things like this in the future. So give us some ideas and, you know, maybe we will release some more music more regularly. What even is this mug? Um, pandas like eating bamboo. Lazy, lazy panda. All right. Okay. <laughs>